So the way cold caps work, um, I'm going to kind of simplify it in an easy way to understand, but there are kind of two main ways that they work. And so the, the machines, there's two big companies in the U U.S., Dignacap and Paxman, and Paxman's the company that I worked with. But they're very similar, and they basically have this mini refrigeration unit that attaches to a cold cap. And these are different than like the caps that you put in the freezer and put on that aren't attached to anything because it, it circulates a coolant and it keeps the cold temperature at a constant level on the scalp. And this is easier for both providers and patients because when you do scalp cooling, the fit is really important because if you have areas where there's not contact, you lose hair in those areas. So you can just get a really good fit with the cap at the beginning of treatment and not have to keep putting them on and off. And then you have this constant temperature so you're not going from like really cold and flying out to warmer. And so what this cold temperature does is two things. It constricts the blood vessels in the scalp and helps prevent chemotherapy deliver to the, delivery to the hair follicles. And then it also decreases the protein and enzyme activity in the hair follicles. So the chemo that is delivered may not work as, officially, as efficiently in the hair follicles. So it's a combination of those two things. And as far as safety goes, there's actually quite a few very large studies from other countries, and the U.S. data also shows that these are safe to use. And what these studies have shown is that people who use scalp cooling devices or caps, that there's no difference in survival, so how long they live, and that there's no difference in um, having cancer recur in the scalp, okay? Um, this is true for solid tumors, and by solid tumors, I mean cancers like breast cancer, lung cancer, ovarian cancer, but there are some cancers that spread through the bloodstream, like leukemias and lymphomas, and in those types of cancers, these devices are not safe because you can protect cancer cells in the scalp and see local recurrences. So I, I would not recommend using these for those type of tumors, but um, these devices have been very well studied and they're FDA cleared for most solid tumors.